This is not a sponsored video, this is more of an advert for an upcoming series. Every Tuesday, starting from the 14th of July, I'll be uploading a new series to my channel. The theme of this show? It's an F1 themed version of Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? You know, that TV show where people compete for the chance to be, well, a millionaire. I'll be joined for every episode by the wonderful Liam Talks F1 and there are some big names taking part. I mean like, really big. But firstly, if you're not already subscribed to Liam Talks F1, then I highly recommend doing so. He's a fantastic little YouTuber, and I'd love to get him to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. That's all from me for now, and I'll hand over to um, myself for the main part of this video. Right, so, if you followed F1 and paid any kind of attention to it last year, you may have noticed some dodgy dealings going on at Haas. No, not that sort of dealings, get that out of your head. What I'm really talking about is Rich Energy, the extremely strange energy drink brand that caught the attention of the world by having less money than the average middle class teenager in their bank account. Despite all this, they claim to have sold over 100 million cans across the world, presumably all to William Story himself. To be fair, at a profit of around £1 per can, it's entirely possible given that they tried to purchase Force India before they became Racing Point, before they became Aston Martin, for £100 million. I don't think I need to go into too much detail as to how the sponsorship deal with Haas came to fruition, but I'll gloss over it anyway. Supposedly, Rich Energy were originally out to sponsor Williams for the 2019 season, and the deal very almost came through. Fortunately for Williams, Mr. Story, aka Bad Santa, decided he couldn't be bothered to show up to meet Claire Williams at a restaurant during the USGP weekend, and instead went in favour of striking up this now infamous deal with Haas. And thus, the Rich Energy livery was born, a blatant reference to the old John Player special livery that ran between 1974 and 1979. Some F1 fans were at least somewhat content with the livery, but others were not. The car was subject to its fair share of criticism, not least from white bikes, more on that later. On the first day of testing in 2019, both Haas cars finished higher than the Red Bull cars, leading to the phrase hashtag better than Red Bull being born. Whether the company was better than Red Bull was as yet unproven. Oh yeah, white bikes. What the f*** does a bike company have to do with an F1 team? Well, in the case of Haas, a court case. You see, when the whole rich energy thing burst into the world of F1, some people were surprised. Not surprised that another energy drink was sponsoring an F1 car, but surprised that a bike company would allow its logo to be plagiarised and used on a completely unrelated brand. It turns out that white bikes had not allowed for this to happen, and so rich energy were immediately taken to court over the affair, and were forced to pay the sum of £35,416 to ATB. So much for William's story getting a new car then. Bruh. On a somewhat unrelated note, Rich Energy decided that they'd had enough of F1, and they terminated their contract with Haas in the Donald Trump style, on Twitter. But hey, I mean, at least we'd come to get used to this kind of behaviour from William Story. It's just that no company that actually was better than Red Bull would make themselves look like a bunch of clowns as much as Rich Energy did. So, the legacy of Rich Energy lives on, and as far as I'm aware, they still sell the drink. How do I know this? Because I have one. Cut to the camera. So, here it is, or I mean, at least it was, um, I did drink it, as you can, I mean, surely you can tell, like, no one crumples a can when it's new, but yes, I did drink it, it was, it was somewhat alright, uh, why did I drink it? Because drinking on camera is just kind of weird and a waste of time, why am I on camera now? Because I can't be bothered to edit the whole thing? I have made an impossible discovery about Rich Energy. This is just a theory, so take it with not just a pinch of salt, but a handful of salt. I think I've figured out their sales strategy, and let me explain. So, Rich Energy, as you know, they are extremely dodgy. Um, they were on the side of the Haas car, and then all of a sudden they just decided they didn't want to be on the side of the Haas car, as I have explained already in the video. However, what my theory is as to why they are still in existence is because of that sales strategy. Again, this is a theory. Don't say that I'm right, because I'm probably not. There's just as much a chance that I'm wrong as I am right. But what I think their sales strategy is to is to make themselves look so dodgy that they are suddenly a, a unicorn drink, you know? Like, people struggle to find these, and now not so much, but people still think that they're kind of a made-up brand, and when they find them, it's like they found 
a unicorn. Obviously, they haven't. I got this on eBay, it was £5.99, and anyone can buy it. In fact, I'm gonna leave the link in the description because, you know, it was, it was somewhat nice, and if you fancy trying some of this out, then do it. Is it better than Red Bull, though? That's the big question. And the big answer is no, because it is Red Bull. It's literally the same. It tastes, to me, it tastes exactly the same. And pretty much to every other person who's done a video where they do a taste test. Obviously, I'm not doing it live, but I can confirm it is not better than Red Bull because it is Red Bull. There are all the important questions answered. I hope you feel enlightened now. And now I've run out of things to say, so I won't waste any more of your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and all that kind of stuff. Goodbye.